Alright, so in this tutorial, I've got a brick texture, a brick specular map, and a brick normal map. And uh, I've got them all in my textures um, subsection of my brick of my brick package. So I'm going to go ahead and say new material, and I'm going to put that into my materials group. Um, you can group however you want, just organization is, you know, key for success. So, so brick material. Alright, so now I've got my brick material editor open. Let's go ahead and add the, uh, the brick texture and plug that into diffuse. You can either drag things in or if you got it selected then you can press and hold T and click and add it like that. So let's go ahead and add a specular map. And uh, the specularity, I don't know if you can see it especially well. It's like how shiny something is. So you can see as I move the light around by pressing and holding L while I move the mouse around, um, you can see how the, the shiny part of the brick moves around a little bit, if you know what I mean. Um, or like the, the shiny part is affected by the light. So the bricks, so they're not supposed to be especially shiny, but um, I wanted a, a little bit there. All right, and then also we want the normal map. And the normal map is going to be like the uh, the shading. Like you see right here, for example, how the the light affects like the shading of the brick without the normal map it doesn't do that it's just like a I mean it just shades the polygons and that's it with the normal map it adds a bunch of extra detail to the shadows and that's really all there is to just a, a simple um, texture so we'll go ahead and say apply changes and uh, whenever you create a material you should probably have a texture for a diffuse, a specular map, and a normal map. And then from there you can add more. You can see there's a lot of extra stuff here for whatever you're trying to do. Um, but those are the basics that you should probably always have. Now, with your material selected, um, here's our builder brush here. This red outline. Oop, wrong one. Okay, this red outline. So let's go ahead, I think, and... Um, Drag it over here a ways, and with the material selected, we'll say Add. Okay, and we'll press G to go into game mode, which hides, the, hides all the extra stuff that you don't see when you're in the game. And you can really see here now. This is it in the sunlight, and this is it with uh, a steep... Light, with uh, the light at a steep angle. And you can really see the, the normal map just uh, pop out, because, I mean, you can really see the, the shading there. So that's really all that there is to just a, a really basic texture. Um, you can do quite a bit of stuff with it. Um, and the, the material editor is the same one that you use for post-processing and all that type of stuff. So get used to it, get good at it, and uh, you'll have a lot of success. So uh, there you go. Good job. I was looking for something that would really show off um, a good material. And this isn't maybe a fantastic material, but it really shows off like the normal map, for example. Um, you can see, if this didn't have the normal map, um, you would see none of this extra shading for the wood. Like, take a look at this. Here's the actual material. If I disable that, now take a look over here when I update this. You ready? Look at that. So you can see the uh, the normal map really adds a lot. So it's it's kind of a key feature to it, to a good looking material. So there you go.